Don't let your AC system get knocked out by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 16th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Our satellite image uh, shows clear skies basically from uh, the northern part of Alabama all the way down to the Gulf Coast. And we see the clouds from Florence edging into uh, north uh, Georgia there. And they're kind of clipping just the northeast corner of the state of Alabama. And we might see a shower or two up that direction. There's the surface map, and uh, most of the traveling westerlies are well to our north with high pressure. But we're seeing, the, of course, the surface low that is uh, the uh, decreasing Florence, now a depression. In the upper atmosphere, our 500 millibar pattern, show, we can see that uh, closed low over South Carolina that is a reflection of Florence, expected to kind of curve to the north and then to the northeast uh, later over the next couple of days. It's warm across Alabama this morning. We're generally in the lower half of the 70s, a little bit cooler over there in the east uh, central areas where they're in the upper 60s. Watch warning map is uh, not too bad. We've got flash flood watches across parts of uh, South Texas, as well as in the vicinity of Florence over the Carolinas and parts of uh, Virginia. Over in the uh, central Rockies, we've got some high fire danger. QPF forecast kind of tells the story for the week ahead. It doesn't look like we're going to see much. Maybe some showers down across South Alabama and maybe a few showers in Northeast Alabama due to the presence and uh, close proximity of Florence. The excessive rainfall outlook features a high risk, as you might expect, uh, surrounded by moderate, surrounded by slight over uh, the Southern Appalachians and uh, North and South Carolina. And SPC has a slight risk for severe storms in that area as well. But uh, after that, days uh, two and three are basically quiet. Tropics becoming a little uh, less busy. Uh, we have four areas, uh, of course, Florence. And then out in the uh, northeastern Atlantic, we have Joyce and Helene. And we have the remnants of Isaac down there in the Caribbean. There's a look at the forecast for Florence as, it's, uh, as it became a depression this morning. And is expected to stay that way as it moves up into uh, eastern Kentucky and gradually uh, recurve to the northeast across uh, southern New England and out into the Atlantic uh, by Wednesday. And uh, Joyce is meandering around as a depression out there in the uh, northeastern Atlantic. Um, Helene is making a beeline over towards uh, the British Isles. And then there, there's a look at the spaghetti plot for uh, the remnants of Isaac. It uh, doesn't look like uh, conditions are favorable for Isaac to develop much. And there's a quick look at the presentation from uh, the uh, Columbia radar showing uh, the heavy rains that are still going on across uh, uh, the eastern parts of South Carolina and uh, along the South Carolina and North Carolina border. All right, there's 06E GFS model run, and there's uh, our upper air pattern, and there's uh, the reflection of uh, Florence. And Florence uh, moves up into uh, northwestern part of South Carolina later today. And you can see that's bringing some drier air down around uh, the circulation down into Alabama. Uh, Florence is into uh, eastern Kentucky, finally moving a, a little bit more than it has so far uh, by Monday uh, at midday. And once again, you can see the moisture up there, but not uh, down our way, so we stay dry. The uh, upper air pattern uh, opens up into an open wave there, and you can see that moving into the mid-Atlantic states on Tuesday. And uh, once again, we have some pretty good uh, dryness, uh, maybe enough for some clouds or maybe an isolated shower on Tuesday, but right now we're going to leave the forecast dry. Wednesday, we see uh, the big uh, ridge over the mid-Mississippi River Valley kind of settling in over the southeastern U.S., and once again, that keeps things rather dry. Precipital water values, you can see, are uh, well below um, 1.2 inches, so we should stay dry. 
Thursday, uh, the ridge is still in place over the southeastern U.S. as it migrates kind of to the east. And again, on Friday, it's migrated a little further, so we're kind of on the edge. I think we probably will stay dry on Thursday, but by Friday, we do have a front that's kind of coming down into the middle Mississippi River Valley. And as the high moves off to our east, we see the moisture levels increase, and therefore that brings us a chance for showers. The ridge still to our east on uh, Saturday, the main center of the ridge, and that, once again, that produces isolated to scattered showers. And then finally on Sunday, uh, not much change to the ridge pattern and basically, once again, scattered, uh, maybe isolated to scattered showers over the northern half uh, of the state of Alabama. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, we see the ridge is still in place through the 26th of September, but we're seeing a nice, substantially strong trough moving into the middle part of the United States. And that trough migrates across the Mississippi River around the 29th of September. And that spells uh, quite a change in air mass for us to uh, some cooler weather finally. And then uh, we see that as that trough moves by into the mid-Atlantic states and New England on uh, the 1st of October, we see the ridge pump up there so we don't stay cool uh, and dry for very long. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on sun um, Monday morning. Have a great day. Godspeed. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.